Today I'm going to be doing the first oil change on my wife's 2023 CX50 non-turbo. Uh, we've had it for just under a year and just hit 10,000 miles. I think you could get away with doing this uh, with the car on the ground without any ramps or jacks, but for the sake of filming and just to make it easier on myself, I've put it up on ramps today. So if we head under the car here, you can see that there is a service panel here on the passenger side. This panel will give you access to the oil filter and the drain plug. And it's held in place by two 8mm bolts uh, that also have an indent for a Phillips head screwdriver. Before I pull the drain plug, I'm going to go ahead and open up the oil filler cap. And that'll allow air to flow in so the oil can drain out more easily. It also helps if you drive the car before you change the oil, which will heat the oil up and let it drain quicker. Just make sure that you let it cool off enough so you don't scald yourself. I'm going to make sure I pop open this vent as well before I slide the drain pan underneath. I do like to put a piece of cardboard under my drain pan to get any extra spill. I'm going to remove the drain plug first, let most of the oil drain out, and then remove the oil filter. And this drain plug is a 17 millimeter. Since the car's up on ramps, I decided to elevate my drain pan with this box just to minimize the amount of splash I get. I also always recommend wearing eye protection because you don't want this stuff to splash in your eyes. Since I'm having trouble getting the oil filter off, I'm going to go ahead and wait until the oil is done draining and reinstall the plug uh, and try again once I can get under it better. I have personally never used a torque spec when reinstalling a drain bolt, but my advice would be use the torque spec and if you don't, under tightening it a little bit is better because you can always tighten it a little later if it's dripping versus stripping it out. Alright, it took some serious force to get this factory oil filter loose. And normally in that case, I get some big channel lock pliers to help me out, but with the way it's recessed in here, that wasn't really an option. So luckily I got it off with my hands. Before I install the new oil filter, I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of fresh oil and lubricate the gasket. And then, per the instructions, print it on the filter. Once the gasket contacts, turn it an additional three quarters to one turn. non-turbo model 
calls for 4.8 quarts of 0W20. And that's it. Since this is the first time I've changed the oil on this, uh, after I back it off the ramps and run it for a minute, I'll probably check the level. But what I've found on all my other vehicles is as long as you're following the recommended guidance, I've never had to alter the amount after an oil change. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.